Good afternoon. I'd like to go ahead and call our meeting to order. Brawley City Council and successor agency, the Brawley Community Redevelopment Agency, special meeting agenda for Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020 at 4 p.m. Being held today at our city council chambers at 383 Main Street here in Brawley, California. And uh, can we have a roll call, Alma? Council member Kasner Houdini. Here. Council member Hamby. Here. Council member Couchman. Here. Council member Nava. Here. Council member Warren. Here. Okay, thank you. Invocation. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Hamby, if you yes. the honor. Thank you. We have a lot to pray about, so mm -hmm. let's get on it. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you today for the many blessings that you pour out on us each day in this community and in this country. We thank you for the, uh, the right and the opportunity and the responsibility that we have in this country to vote for our leaders. And we thank you for the, the people that are exercising that right and that responsibility. Uh, Lord, we ask that you would prevail in this election today, that, that you would put into position leaders that, uh, that have the best interests of our country and of our community at heart. And we ask that you would uh, lead and guide us as we lead our community with wisdom. And uh, we ask that you would just protect our community and our country. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Councilman Warden, can you need us in the place? In my honor. Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you both. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, we'll go ahead and move on to the approval of the agenda. This is George. I make a motion to approve the agenda as written. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? Okay, thank you. Public appearances or, and comments? This is a time for the public to address the council on any item not appearing on the agenda that is within the subject matter jurisdiction of the city council. Do we have any public comments? No, we're none were submitted in writing either. Okay, no. thank you. Then we'll go ahead and move on to consent agenda. I make a motion to approve the consent agenda as written. Second. Okay, motion by George, second by Sam. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any um, uh, opposed or abstentions? Okay, the motion carries. Thank you. Regular business. First item on regular business, I'm, item 4A is an update on the City of Brawley declaration of local emergency as a result of COVID-19 pandemic. And we have our Fire Chief Mike York to give us a report. Didn't break it this time. All right. <laughs> Good evening, Madam Mayor, members of the council and city staff. Uh, presenting tonight the uh, update on the COVID-19 um, declaration of emergency. Um, Tonight's update, I'll start again with case counts as usual. Uh, there hasn't been any major changes in operations or uh, the planning that has been taking place. Um, what we're seeing right now, as I'll discuss, is that we're seeing an upward trend in positive cases um, and testing. Uh, case count in Imperial County as of this morning, <clears throat> excuse me, total tested is 79,859 persons. Total negative is 66,142, and total positive case count altogether since the beginning of the pandemic is 13,260. Um, we're seeing an increase in our hospital census. Uh, it was reported yesterday that our hospital census of active patients is 49. On the last report, we had a 33 um, census. Uh, we currently have active 421 cases in Imperial County, so we're seeing a growth in that number as well. Mm -hmm. um, and even though our hospital census is showing an increase, it's indicating that a lot of these people are treating at home and self-isolating. Uh, we have had 12,501 persons recover, and in Imperial County, we have recorded 338 deaths total. Uh, within the 92227 area code, we've had 2,223 positive cases and we've recorded 44 deaths in our area. Uh, for comparison, as always, we have Yuma County and Mexicali. In Yuma, we, they have tested 81,575 persons with a confirmed case count of 14,068. Uh, they've recorded 359 deaths. <clears throat> our neighbors south of the border in Mexicali, 
Um, I don't have total test numbers that are not provided, but positive case count is 10,128. 7,728 have recovered. They recorded 1,670 deaths, and as of today, they have 237 active cases. Their death toll was much higher than ours for many reasons. Um, <coughs> moving on to the blueprint for a safer economy, um, the California uh, plan, as we're as we're move, we're identified by risk levels. We're currently in widespread, which is the highest risk level. Uh, the Imperial County. There's three metrics. The metric is case count per 100,000. Uh, percent of positivity rate and uh, recently a health equity metric. In the Imperial County, we're recording 26 persons per 100,000 positivity rate. I'm sorry, case count, which is an, uh, a very large increase over our last report. Uh, our positivity rate is at 15.14%. Again, a significant growth in our positivity rate. Um, and our health, our, excuse me, our health equity metric is 14.4%, also a significant increase over the last report. So what we're seeing now is uh, we're seeing not only our case count per 100,000 100, increasing, which means total number of people are being sick, but we're also seeing our positivity rate go up, which is the combined effect of more people in our community being ill, but also we're seeing uh, people are generally waiting until they're experiencing symptoms to get tested rather than being tested upon exposure or uh, I'll use the word prophylactic testing. Mm -hmm. um, information regarding the Brawley testing site located at 575 J Street. Um, since, the, uh, since the beginning of the pandemic, they've or since they opened, excuse me, uh, they've collected 12,695 samples. This prior week, they collected 605. So they're, they're averaging between 590 and 600 per week. Um, per day this week, they did 121 tests. Their capacity is 132, so they're operating very close to capacity, and their average turnaround time is 40 hours, and that's from time of test until receipt of, of uh, results, not business hours or anything like that. Here within the Brawley Fire Department, we have seen our EMS response increase. We did have a few months, or excuse me, uh, yes, two months and a few council meetings where our calls for serv for COVID-related service had tapered off. Uh, we're starting to see a trend of them climbing again. Uh, we've recorded 144 calls for service that were COVID-related and 65 that were confirmed COVID-positive. Uh, so small increases over the last report, but we're starting to see the calls again. Um, as always, we're continuing to work with our local, state, and federal partners in coordination. The Imperial County EOC is still in function and still in operation. Uh, they've reduced their meetings to once a week to streamline operations. And if there's any questions, I will do my best to answer. Uh, on your EMS responses, that 144, is that for what time frame? That is since we began recording the information at the beginning of the pandemic in March. Or, I'm sorry, the beginning of the declaration of emergency. And um, as far as the, the positivity rates, how do they compare with the statewide? Uh, those, were those the Imperial County or the statewide? Oh, I'm sorry, I did give you the Imperial County rates. Uh -huh. uh, the state, so the Imperial County positivity rate is 26 per 100,000. The state is actually showing 17.7. Now they're running a little bit behind us in terms of reporting and as described, there's some, some minor discrepancy in the way they calculate. Uh, the Imperial County website is showing the 15.14%. The state is currently showing the 11.3%. The uh, health equity metric, though, it was provided by the state at 14.4. They're still high. And uh, just for reference, um, to go from widespread to the next tier, um, from purple to red, we need to get our case count of less than seven persons per 100,000. And we need to get our positivity and our health equity metric below 8%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other question? Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank You're you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and move on to item 4B. Madam Mayor, if I, yes. if I could please. Sure. On 4B, I've read the backup materials for an extension of the contract second amendment it's for the local limit study and then discontinued support mm -hmm. unless there's any questions i'd like to make a motion to approve the item okay is there a second i'd like to second that okay 
Motion by George, second by Donnie. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? <coughs> okay, the motion carries, thank you. Okay, okay and item 4C, uh, discussion of potential action to approve AMG and Associates Ocotillo Springs Department's density bonus agreement and adopt resolution number 2020. Resolution authorizing application for the Affordable Housing and Sustainable Communities Program. And just for clarification on this, we've, um, we've actually uh, approved this before and there's the only reason for it coming back to us is because they wanted um, somebody that could negotiate the contract and since our city manager is no longer here, our interim city manager's name is, has been entered into that resolution. Th thank you for that clarification. Mm -hmm. If that there's uh, no questions, I'd like to make a motion to approve the item. Okay. Second. Okay, motion by George, second by Donnie. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? Okay, motion carries, thank, thank you. you. Okay, moving right along to departmental reports. Uh, item 5A in your monthly staffing report for November 2020, pre prepared by Personnel and Risk Management Administrator Shirley Bonillas on page 50. And it's in your backup material. Yes, Shirley. Madam Mayor, Council Member Shirley Benias, Personnel and Risk Management. The only update to the report on page 50 is that we do have one police officer in back and um, with conditional offer. So we're just waiting for the psych eval as well as the physical and we'll hopefully have an appointment within the next couple of weeks. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Anybody? Okay. Thank you, Shirley. Okay, moving on to item 5B, update on emergency construction project at the Brawley Water Treatment Plan to replace components of two sedimentation basins presented by Public Works Director Guillermo Sias. Yes, Guillermo. Good evening, uh, Mayor, members of the Council. <coughs> the, this project, the emergency continues. As part of the punch list, the contractor has to make corrections to the stabilization system of the trough, which are the channels that conveys the water to the next treatment section at sedimentation basin number one contractor is waiting for the manufacturer to provide some part for the adjustment the status of the change order number one which includes a raw water pond bfd and actuator for the sludge collector uh, the number one the bfd from the original manufacturer is not longer available it was ordered another brand that which is Fuji BFD instead and has a lead time of four weeks. So it is expected to be here by the end of November. The other item included on the change order is the actuator and is expected to arrive by November 5th, which is toward the end of this week. Okay. But uh, the plan continue performing and no, no, no issues, no problems. So we are just doing uh, these upgrades to to uh, through the change orders. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. No. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Moving on to item number six, informational report on page fifty one, and that's just your calendar uh, for your information. And there's, we'll move on to item seven, city council member reports. And we'll go ahead and start with Council Member Couchman. Okay. Um, I only had two things to report. Uh, Dr. Vo Medical Clinic opening, which we most of us, quite a few of us attended, it went very well. And I, he's got a very robust clinic over there and a lot of staff working over there. And it appears that that parking lot is full constantly now. And I have to expect that that's due to Dr. Vo's clinic. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it anyway with, with Imperial Hardware and, and the, the subway and then Dr. Vo's clinic. It looks like that parking lot has a lot of traffic moving through it now, which it did not have in the past. So that, that's a good and a bad thing, I think, because it shows there's a robust economy. A lot of people go into those businesses. And so I think that's good. But getting in and out of there is kind of a mess. But that's all right, because that's good for growth. Uh, Pioneers 70th anniversary event. Uh, I was I was uh, privileged to attend that. They did a good job with that one. Everybody's social distancing. Uh, they had speakers, and Clay Walker came in, uh, and he was there to talk, and so that went very very well. Um, and all the things that Pioneers has done for this community in the last 70 years uh, certainly is a valuable 
member of our community in the healthcare area. Certainly, I'd, I'd made some, some points that um, pioneers had served my family in all the years that they've been here through the good times and the cures and the, and the sad times when people you know, have expired out there in my family and I'm sure many of yours. Um, and so, but Pioneers has always been there. Considering I live five blocks away, it's been a good thing to go over there and get medical treatment. And they've always been there for my family and members of this community. So, and I just like to extol on that because it's really neat having a hospital in your community like we have. Mm -hmm. And um, other than that, the fireworks were kind of abundant. We had a little discussion about that before the meeting. A uh, lot of fireworks going off during the Dodger game and also I think during Halloween and I think we're going to address that and, and the chief has indicated that he's going to get up a group together to address that issue a little bit. Maybe we can do some things to dampen that down a bit more. Uh, certainly it was out there in, in force uh, after the Dodgers game probably more than at Halloween but it was still out there and they keep setting them off about every night and every weekend. So. We need, to, we need to do something about that. But I appreciate the, the, both the chiefs addressing that issue and, and working on it. It's a tough deal because it's hard to enforce. But we'll, hopefully we can do something. It's explosive. Yeah, it's explosive. Yeah. yeah. All right. And that's all I had to report. Thank it you. sparks a lot of controversy. Okay, thank you. sparks a lot of controversy. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Council. Oh, that's, that's a good one. It's a hot topic right now. It's a hot topic right now, he says. Councilman Nama? Yeah. Hot topic. Yeah. It's a hot topic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I'll keep it super brief. Um, I, I attended the Pioneer 70th as well. Very impressed with the uh, new facilities that they have there. It's just incredibly impressive. So that was, uh, I think, finalized the day before the celebration. It was still kind of under construction, so it was very impressive. I imagine there's multi-millions of dollars worth of equipment in just those facilities. So great to see that. And um, um, I also uh, was able to represent the city of Brawley on the JPIA annual meeting this year was virtual and uh, some technological issues with the voting process, but we, we were able to manage through it. I also um, uh, chaired the ICTC meeting and, uh, you know, again, I'll just keep it brief. I'll, I'll give more of a detailed update at our next meeting, but I do want to thank everybody um, for the work that you're doing. And um, it's been, it's been a great, uh, great experience. Today's election day and I'm excited. So. Again, thank you. Oh, and uh, we did attend Dr. Vo's um, ribbon cutting as well. So that was uh, well attended and the feedback from the community has been positive. So um, again, thank you all very much. Thank you. Good to see you. Councilman Warden. You bet. And um, I, I'll also obviously attended <laughs> Dr. Vo's uh, uh, ribbon cutting, but it was kind of nice again because there just has not been very many of those events uh, to be able to attend, especially over the last eight months. So. Um, again, big congratulations there. Um, healthcare continues to expand. Um, I did not make um, actually the what looked like a, a, a fantastic ceremony um, with uh, Pioneers Memorial Hospital District, but nonetheless, certainly extend my um, congratulations to to the board, to the administration, and the leadership. Um, I, I I will say professionally, we played um, maybe a small role in uh, the opening of that facility with uh, the services we provide that allow that service to happen um, in case emergency intervention needs to take place and we need to get a patient um, ultimately transported uh, to higher level of care. But I will certainly say that that facility, that cath lab, is a game changer for the quality of life for all of us here in Imperial County. Um, so a huge congratulations, and I'm sure there'll be other opportunities as that 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 particular um, service um, um, really ramps up over time. So um, other than that, uh, I heard there's something special about today, but um, <laughs> maybe an election going on. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, just as well said in the, um, in, and I think touched on in the invocation, um, do extend that uh, our community um, stays safe and sane and uh, certainly um, exercising that right um, and expect to see a, a tremendous turnout and looking forward to seeing uh, what the future holds uh, for our community and in the country. So that's it, Madam Mayor. Okay, thank you. Mayor Pro Tem Happy. Thank you, Madam Mayor. That's you. George and Donnie over there saying four more years. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. You saw me. <laughs> I'm stressing. I'm losing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Um, I also got to attend the Pioneers' 70th anniversary celebration with most of the rest of the council and city manager and a few other people there. Um, I've had the 
the privilege of attending a couple of prayer groups recently. Uh, one was at out, out in front of the police department um, last month, or, or late uh, September, actually. They had another one at the end of October I wasn't able to attend, but um, that's I, I just think it's an important uh, gesture at least, but it's also, I think it makes a difference in the grand scheme of things when we have people that are that are offering prayers of, of safekeeping and wisdom over uh, our police department because it's a, you know, it's a difficult time and it's a hard time to be a police officer and it's uh, noble work. And so I definitely appreciate our police department. I've had um, increased communication with the police chief, our interim police chief, uh, different issues that have come up, not not my own, but other yeah. people's. But uh, <laughs> it's you been, got issues, right? <laughs> right, right we yeah. all got issues. Sorry, right. let me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's just good to be able to to just reach out and contact city staff when we got issues that um, that they can handle. Um, same thing with city manager. I've had opportunity to be in quite a bit of contact with our interim city manager, and he's done a great job of um, you know just pulling some some things off that haven't been able to be. Uh, to, to be done in the last few years, so it's uh, encouraging to see that. And I do have a appreciation for um, all the staff in the city for the work that they've done to pull things together while while we're in the midst of a pandemic and, and kind of two steps forward, one step back um, with our lockdown and, and the lightening of restrictions. Um, I also was able to attend a prayer group at the Chamber of Commerce with a few different uh, city leaders, pastors, um, business owners, and um, that was just encouraging to see the heart that people have for our community here. Uh, you, you look across the country, it just seems like everyone's so divided, and, and here in Brawley and in Imperial County, it just seems so often like we may have difference, uh, differences in opinions politically or ideologically, and yet there's a sense of community here that you just, it's hard to find that across the country anymore. So I'm, I'm very grateful to be a Brawley resident and to have the, the responsibility and the opportunity to, to lead and make a little bit of a difference here in this community. And I appreciate my fellow council members for the effort and the work that they put in as well. I wish you guys good luck. Thank in you. Selection Thank you. This evening. Um, I also would like to, to wish in public, a belated happy anniversary to my wife. We just had our 20th anniversary. I did tell her in <laughs> private and on Facebook, too, but uh, just thought I'd better get it on the record here officially. It's official. Yeah. There you go. October 28th of 2000, we were, I was 23, and she, I'm not going to say how old she was, but she's a little older than I am. I will say that. Oh, uh, oh man. Oh. But oh. She's, she still looks we'll younger. I don't think she's, she's going to appreciate she's you always, saying that. She's always looked younger, so we'll everyone assumes that she like is. That. <laughs> But We're gonna have to Google that. It's been uh, no, it's been quite me. a quite a ride, and I'm glad that she's stayed on the roller coaster with me. So. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Congratulations. You. Yeah. That's it for my report. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, I didn't attend. I didn't get to attend Dr. Vogue's uh, grand opening, but I thank you to the council and they were able to attend. I saw that it was a really nice attended event, and so always uh, good to see new businesses opening up, especially right now. And I was honored to be asked to be a, a speaker at the um, 70th uh, year anniversary for Pioneer Memorial Hospital. That was really, really a nice event, even though we had to, like I said, you know, take the sit apart and everything, but we still got to do a little bit of networking before and after the event. So that was very nice. And again, uh, I kind of feel like Sam, I, uh, I, I shared a little bit about, you know, my history with Pioneer Memorial Hospital. I think we can all tell stories about it, but I did have three of my children there. And um, so I feel blessed that we have the hospital in our community and that uh, they take such good care of us and have been there for us right through this period of the pandemic. I think they've done excellent work. So. And then I did have another announcement that um, is an important one, actually, that they wanted us to share. Our 64th annual Cattle Call Rodeo will, is, is going to be on, and it's going to be a virtual rodeo. But um, Carson Kalin, who is the uh, rodeo uh, committee chair, and Mark Huber wanted to make sure that we got the word out. And um, they will, we will be uh, sending out the information regarding the live streaming it will be on the Cowboy channel, but I think he indicated that on Saturday you actually have to download the application. 
And then on Sunday, you can just uh, turn the television set onto that channel. Um, he encouraged everybody to get their big screens outdoors and, and get their barbecues going for that weekend to make sure that everybody watches the, the rodeo. So they're really excited about putting on this event. And I told them the city's excited about it also and we'll do whatever we can to get the word out, uh, put it on our hub and put it on our website also since it is uh, considered a city of Raleigh event. Um, the other uh, announcement that I wanted to make, uh, and I probably wouldn't make it except that people are posting things on Facebook, so I thought I might as well go ahead and, and share that the DMV lease is moving forward and uh, should be finalized within the next couple of weeks, so we will have a new DMV office at, uh, I think it's 173 Main Street. Or, I'm not sure about the address, but it's in the 100 uh, block of Main Street. So uh, more on that, a little bit of celebration for a new DMV office. I think everybody in the, in the community and especially in the city of Raleigh is really looking forward to that. And other than that, I just uh, also want to wish my co-counsel um, good luck tonight. And I think it's going to be good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, okay. Madam Mayor. Well, thank you, Madam Mayor. If I, I, yes. I, you just your report just reminded me as well um, on the cattle call event, but also the um, there'll be numerous I, I think um, ways to enjoy some of what were the normal cattle call f uh, festivities, including sure. the chili cook-off this weekend in kind of the revised format, um, and you know I guess for all intents and purposes virtual, but. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, knowing what I know about our community, I think we're going to find ways to celebrate and celebrate safely. And uh, um, so uh, being mindful of that, I think all that was posted and has been put out in um, public on the Chamber website as well. So um, looking forward to that. So I just want yes, to Yes, yeah, thank you for that Chamber reminder. Events. It's true. Yeah. I, all the events are actually posted date on the Raleigh Chamber if mm -hmm. anybody wants to participate in any of those events. I've also posted it on our calendar. Okay. If there is one thing that Brawley knows how to do, celebrate. So yes. <laughs> I'll tell you. And, and one thing I didn't say, which I, I should, is the the cattle call rodeo is on Saturday the 14th and Sunday the 15th of November. So okay. those are the dates well, you need to well, mark on your calendar. Make sure you free up that time. And one yes. final, uh, again, I just want to congratulate uh, Luke on your anniversary, which reminded me, um, my parents also celebrated their 61st um, anniversary on Sunday, and nice. you know, I had a good time with them. My dad turns 91 in a couple of weeks, so that's I'm just you know happy for him, and they look good and you know enjoying life. So, that's congratulations amazing. again, Luke. Thank you. Yeah, it's a blessing. Hopefully, uh, you get to reach a, a long, you know, 61 plus. You know, yeah. so yeah, you yeah. still yes. be that's here. The hope anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. still here. Right. Right. <laughs> we have a few little afterthoughts. Uh, one other thing that I failed to mention is that I have been continuing with the service awards for the employees. We've kind of have to uh, been spreading them out because all the employees are not available at the time that I've gone by. But I went by today for Sylvia Luel, and she has celebrated 25 years. Uh, so oh, nice. um, recognized her and thanked her and show appreciation on behalf of all of us. And we'll be continuing with that uh, within the next couple of weeks. I understand that there's still some awards that we want to be presenting. Okay, that's it for me. And we'll go ahead and move on to city manager report. I'll defer to the next council meeting. Okay, thank you. City attorney report? No, no report. Okay, thank you. City clerk report. Should we wish you good luck too? <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck, Alma. Good luck. It's, a, it's a title right? action. <laughs> you can actually announce right now that you've been elected. Yes, everything. exactly. Right in I know, right? <laughs> it's going to have to be a lot of them. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, well, we wanted to make this a quick meeting, so thank you very much for attending. Uh, the staff that are here, and uh, have a good rest of the week, and we'll go ahead and go into closed session. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.